Hello, in this video we are going to look at the bitmap label object. A bitmap label allows you to use a font file aka .fnt file accompanied by a image file which is a .png file to render text. So let's just drag on a bitmap label right onto the screen. By default it has its own .fnt and .png file. The .fnt file, you don't really know, need to know how it works, the .fnt dot fnt just basically stores the positions of each of the individual characters and numbers that are in the dot png file so it knows where to get the f from the n from the t from the t uh, or the capital t from the e and so forth so you can change the text right here so if i just put hello world it hasn't updated you either click off here or just click enter and then it updates and to actually change the font file, you can import your resource and drag it on or double click it and then select your resource. I've got a example font file on the desktop. But what I want to show you before I import it is go to the containing folder with all my files. I've got three files as you, as you can see. And on my desktop, I've got an example.fnt file and an, and an example.png file. When you export a .fnt file using something like glyph designer that i've got right here that's a paid tool but there are free tools out there just do a quick google search and you should be able to find a decent bitmap tool what happens is it creates both of these files but when you import or select your .fnt file like this so select it right here as you can see we got the .fnt file but no .png but if we were to open containing folder it's actually imported it, it's just not added it into the resources. So for if for whatever reason you needed to use that in something that wasn't a bitmap label, like an image object or a sprite object or something like that, then you can easily import that as well. So it's that simple to do. As you can see, we literally have our label working now with the text. You may be wondering why the how is there some sort of dodgy little sort of background thing here these sort of gray things and that's nothing to do with coco studio that's just because i've got a trial version of glyph designer and the trial version has a watermark on the font file that you export so if you had a paid version or you had some other free tool you wouldn't have this sort of issue so if i were to change the text really simple ahoy matey there you go it's now change the text from hello world to oh, ahoy matey and yes yeah, that's simple to use a bitmap label we all have a link in the description to our cocos api guide which shows you how to actually access the bitmap label because maybe you want to update the text maybe you're using a bitmap label for a scoring system so you every time you destroy an enemy you get 10 points you want to add that onto the label when you want to increase the score and then put that to the label we've got like i said we've got api guide there'll be a link in the description so you can check that out how to access it in code the reason we're not showing you in this video is because it's not part of coca studio these videos are about coca studio so yeah it's that simple that's all now thank you very much and i hope you have a great day